Hello, I'm Paul Wissart, I'm Head of Radiotherapy Physics here at the Royal Berkshire Hospital and I'll be showing you around our linear accelerator facility. We enter the treatment room via the maze gate which is inter electrically interlocked into the treatment machine. If the machine were to be producing radiation and the gate were to be accidentally opened, the machine would switch off immediately as a safety precaution. This is known as the maze entrance into the accelerator. Its purpose is to contain the radiation within the treatment room and ensure that by the time you get to the end of the maze gate, radiation levels are down to safe levels. And here we have the linear accelerator itself. The, the apparatus consists of a treatment couch, which is an integral part of the machine. This is obviously where the patient uh, will be positioned for their treatment. The accelerator itself is this structure here. The radiation comes along this beam arm and is directed vertically down through the treatment head here. The radiation leaving the patient can be picked up by the portal imaging device here, which allows us to image the patient using the treatment x-rays and ensures that we are treating the correct area of the patient. One of the important features of the machine is the isocentric movement capability, which means that all the movements of the machine rotate about the same point in space, allowing the radiation to be directed into the patient from any angle. So we have a movement of the gantry, and you can see the gantry is now rotating around. Similarly, the patient couch can also be rotated around the same point in space. This accelerator can provide treatments at 6 or 10 MV for photon treatments. Alternatively, it can be set to an electron mode of operation where the energies are in the range of 6 to 18 MeV. To provide electron treatments, an applicator is attached to the front of the machine, like so, and the patient is brought up into contact with the end of this applicator. This serves to collimate the electron beam. The accelerator works by accelerating electrons down a waveguide, picking up energy from a set of radio waves that are also travelling down the waveguide. From there they will pass into a flattening filter and then on through an iron chamber and through the collimating system before finally emerging from the accelerator. Within the head of the treatment machine there are a series of collimators that are used to define the size of the treated field. A light beam is used to indicate to the radiographers the size of the field that will be used to treat the patient. By using the handset, the radiographers can move the collimators to the desired position and also cause the multi-leaf collimators to come to the correct settings required for a patient. The machine has now moved to the correct position for a treatment. Here we can see that the multi-leaf collimators have come in along this edge and now provide a good degree of conformance along this side of the beam.